Hello everyone. You're welcome to a few comments. Here we have another problem to solve. X plus 3 to the power 4 equals 4 to the power 4. Okay, the question is how do I deal with this? Okay, before I start, if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe so you can get more of my videos. Now the next thing I want to do is to cut this power into two and then do the same thing to this power. So we have x plus 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 and that will be equal to 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now I am doing this because I want to apply difference of two squares as time goes on. I believe that is okay. Now, this x plus 3 to the power of 2, you can expand it, right? If you have a plus b to the power of 2, the expansion of this will give a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So, in the same way, the expansion of x plus 3 to the power of 2 should give us x squared plus 2ab now will be 2x times 3 and that will be 6x then plus b squared that will be 9 because 3 squared is going to be there and that is 9 now let's put this in place of this so we we'll now have x squared plus 6x plus 9 to the power of 2 on that side. On the other side, we have 4 squared is 16. So let me write the 16 here. And then we square the 16 again. Remember I told you that I am interested in using the comp um, difference of two squares. So we are going to bring this to the left so we can have difference of two squares. So now we have the friends of two squares and if you want to apply the friends of two squares what do you do you are going to add these two in one bracket and in the other bracket you subtract the two from each other and this right here comes first okay so i'm going to have x squared plus 6x plus 9 then plus 16 this will be in the first bracket and then in the second bracket x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 16 then we equate everything to 0 x squared plus 6x plus 25 is what we have here then here we have x squared plus 6x. Do not put plus in place of this uh, because of this 9. Because 9 is less than 16. So this is the sign that will reflect. So we have negative. Then 9 minus 16 will give a uh, negative 7. So we are having 7 here. We equate to 0. Now what do I do now? We have this to multiply to get 0. So this means that it is either this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. So I will equate this to 0 first. x squared plus 6x plus 25 equals 0. Okay. So if that is the case, then I can use formula to deal with this square root of b squared minus 4ac all of this is over 2a this is called quadratic general formula now our x will be equal to minus b will be minus 6 because b is 6 plus or minus b squared that will be 6 squared minus 4 times a 1 times c 25 
then we have this over 2 times 1. Now if I go ahead then x will be minus 6 plus or minus we have 6 squared is 36 minus 4 times 1 times 25 is 100. So we divide this by 2. Now our x is minus 6 plus or minus if you subtract this, you're going to get minus 64, and that will be over 2. Take a step further to get x equals minus 6. Then we have plus or minus. This is square root of 64 times square root of negative 1. We will still divide everything by 2. What I did is to pick out the negative. So we can find square root of 64. x becomes minus 6 plus or minus square root of 64 is 8. Then square root of negative 1 is i. We multiply by 8 to get 8i. Okay, to get 8i, just like this. Then we divide by 2. Okay, so let's continue. So our x will now be 2 into that will give minus 3 plus or minus the same 2 into that will give 4i. Remember this is i. Okay. This 2 is no longer under here. So our x is minus 3 plus 4i or minus 3 minus 4i. So from here we have um, part of the solution. Now we have left out a quadratic equation which we have not used. Okay, I'll pick it out. This um, factor here we have not used it so we're going to equate it to zero and we'll have a quadratic equation. Okay, so this is this is it then we will still use this formula to deal with it minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all of this is over 2 times a so our x is now minus b is minus 6 like we got before then we have b squared which will be 36 Okay, how did I get that 36? That is that um, 6 squared, because we're supposed to have 6 squared here. Then, we're going to have um, 4 times a, a is 1, that will be minus 4 times a, that is minus 4. Then, c is minus 7, so we have minus 4 times minus 7, and that will give us plus 28. We divide this by 2 times 1 and that is 2. Now our x will be equal to we have minus 6 plus or minus we add this 2 to get 64. Then we divide this by 2. So our x will now be minus 6 plus or minus 8 because square root of 64 is 8. We divide by 2. 2 will go here and the same 2 goes there. This means that our x is minus 4, okay, minus 3, plus or minus we have 4. Now our x is minus 3 plus 4 or minus 3 minus 4. So if this is the case, then our x is equal to minus 3 plus 4 is 1. Then minus 3 minus 4 is minus 7. Okay, now let's get the four solutions. We got x equals minus 3 plus 4i. That will be x1. Then x2 is equal to minus 3 minus 4i. Then our x3 will be equal to minus, um, okay, that is plus 1 right this right here is our x3 then our x4 
will be equal to minus 7. So these are the four solutions.